Good morning and thank you for tuning in to this live special edition of DITV News. I'm Bo Bowman. And I'm Lauren Burrell. We begin this broadcast with a new development in the Molly Tibbetts case. Christian Bahana Rivera has been taken into custody at the Powashet County Jail and charged with first degree murder for the death of Molly Tibbetts. With more on what happened next is Mackenzie Cooper who, has, who was at the press conference yesterday. Mackenzie, can you tell us about what happened? Well, after over a month-long search for missing University of Iowa student Molly Tibbetts, we finally have some answers. Now, investigators tell us they are positive on the timeline, but still unclear on a motive. It seemed that he followed her and uh, seemed to be drawn to her on that particular day. And for whatever reason, he chose to abduct her. So that's... On Tuesday morning, Molly's remains were found in a cornfield in Guernsey, Iowa, about 20 minutes outside of Brooklyn. Investigators were led to the scene after questioning Christian Behanna Rivera. Security footage taken from a neighbor's camera found Rivera's car following her on the night of July 18th. He told officials he chased after Tibbetts in his car while she was out on a run that night on 385th Street in Brooklyn. He then parked his car and ran after her. Tibbetts then grabbed her phone and threatened to call the police. It was then that Rivera claims he blocked out his memory, something he claims commonly happens when he gets upset. He then told the police that the next thing he remembers is finding headphones on his lap and remembering that Tibbetts was in his trunk. He then drug her body by foot to the cornfield where her body was found located on Highway 21 and 460th Avenue. Rivera is currently being held at the Powashik County Jail. When asked if Tivitz knew Rivera, Richard Ron, the Department of Criminal Investigations special agent, had this to say. I can tell you that he told us that he had seen her before, but beyond that, I won't be able to say any more about his uh, interactions with it is still not confirmed exactly when or how Tibbetts died or how long her body had been in the cornfield. An autopsy is taking place later today at the state medical examiner's office in Ankeny. We will know more once those results are released. Now be sure to follow along with this cover coverage at the Daily Iowan by following us on Twitter and Facebook and by visiting daily-iowan.com. Now Mackenzie, before we let you go, how long is it exactly going to be before we get those autopsy results? Well, Bo, officials told us yesterday that they could take anywhere between four to six weeks. So we will know more once those results have been released. All right, Mackenzie Cooper, live in the newsroom, thank you. The University of Iowa released a statement regarding Molly's death. They said, quote, We are deeply saddened that we've lost a member of the University of Iowa community. Our thoughts are with Molly Tibbetts' family, friends, and classmates. Losing a fellow student and member of our Hawkeye family is difficult. President Harold and I share in your grief and encourage you to reach out if you are in need of support, end quote. The University of Iowa does offer resources for those who are mourning this loss. Professionals in the UI Counseling Center and the Student Care Assistance Office are available for students, while staff can reach out for help by contacting the UI Employee Assistant Program. As information surrounding her death has been released, multiple UI organizations have planned vigils for Tibbetts on campus. DITV's Susanna Kloster is at Hubbard Park where one vigil is scheduled tonight. Susanna? I'm at Hubbard Park where UISG and Dance Marathon will be holding a visual for Molly Tibbetts on Wednesday night. The event is hosted by UISG and Dance Marathon to honor and remember Molly. The visual will be held at the West End. Students, staff, and faculty members are encouraged to attend. They're also encouraging people to reach out to resources on campus in their time of mourning. Reporting for GITV News at Hubbard Park, I'm Susanna Poster. Thanks, Susanna. Government officials across the nation have offered the Tibbetts family their condolences and have commented on Rivera's status as an illegal immigrant. Governor Kim Reynolds tweeted as Iowans, We are heartbroken and we are angry. We are angry that a broken immigration system allowed a predator like this to live in our community and we will do all we can to bring justice to Molly's killer. Senators Chuck Grassley and Julie Ernst issued a joint release with similar sediment, even President Trump mentioned Tibbetts at his rally in West Virginia. The president said, quote, we've had a huge impact, but the laws are so bad. This, the immigration laws are such a disgrace. We are getting it changed, but we have to get more Republicans, end quote. 
Rivera's immigrant status has caused great debate between government officials and even social media users. For more on this topic, we have Daily Island Politics editor Sarah Watson live in the newsroom to fill us in on this issue. Sarah, good morning. Good morning, Bo. Now, with immigration being the, the hot-button issue that it is, what effect is Rivera being an illegal immigrant going to have on voters? Thanks for that question, Bo. I can't answer for voters right now. We'll have to see when the polls come in November. But what I can say is that Republicans have really seized on this issue of immigration to, to say that Rivera is an illegal immigrant and that we need to crack down on the uh, illegal immigration, that it, Ill illegal immigrants are coming into this country. Um, but as, as you have said, uh, there has been some backlash amongst um, social media users saying that this should not be a politicized issue. So as we look to November's midterms, uh, we'll see what voters latch on to and what they may be discouraged by. Now, have we heard from any other key political figures um, other than the ones we've already mentioned? Not too many. Um, Republicans have been very outspoken about this. Um, uh, U.S. House Representative Steve King uh, issued a statement that was non-political. Rod Bloom has also issued a statement. And um, in addition, there have been a few Democratic uh, Iowa politicians who have come out and said uh, that they are saying prayers for Molly Tibbetts and that they are uh, keeping her family in their thoughts, but no political statements from the Democrats in Iowa at this time. Live in the newsroom, Sarah Watson, thank you.